<coughs> wow, like what a range of people. Yeah. Yeah, lower it and then turn it How on the side. Lose? You just you push, push it push in. Oh, <laughs> I'm going to try. <laughs> if we haven't gotten everybody's along, I'll give you back till I have everybody's. Okay, please give Hannah your attention and applause. Everything has its wonders, even darkness and silence, and I learn whatever state I am in, therefore to be content. This was once said by a woman who took a new meaning to the state of darkness and silence. Helen Keller lived her life both blind and deaf, but she never let that hinder her ability to live her life to the absolute fullest. She became an activist, author, educator, and most importantly, a role model, an inspiration, an overall truly admirable and intellectual figure to be remembered through all of history. Helen Keller was an inspiration from a very young age. When she was born on June 27, 1880 in Tuscumbia, Alabama, she was neither blind nor deaf. At 18 years old, she caught an illness, reportedly either scarlet fever or meningitis, which made her lose her sight and her hearing. She was only six years old when she started working with Martha, the daughter of her family cook, and Ann Sullivan, a visually impaired graduate of the Perkins Institute for the Blind in Boston, to create a sign language. The first word that Helen learned was water after her educator pumped water on her hand, and she then wrote out the letters. Within a year, they developed 60 signs that Helen could use to communicate with others. Her ability to learn a language without being able to hear or speak is deniably impressive. Though it was extremely frustrating for Helen, she never gave up. She attended the Perkins Institute for the Blind, as well as the Wright Thomason School for the Deaf in New York City. As her education progressed, she attended more and more schools, and at only 24 years old, she became the first blind and deaf person to ever earn a bachelor's degree. And that is only about two years after the average person would graduate from college with their bachelor's degree. Her perseverance and determination overcame all these obstacles that she was faced with. Helen Keller's amazing accomplishments did not stop there. She became an advocate for people with disabilities and spoke to large audiences about her struggles and experiences. Not only did she speak about her conditions, but she became a social activist regarding women's suffrage, pacifism, and birth control. She helped found the American Civil Liberty Union in 1920. She participated in and created campaigns to raise money and awareness for the blind. If that wasn't enough to mark to make her mark in American history. She was also a writer. When she was only 20 years old, she wrote and published her autobiography, The Story of My Life. Though she was assisted by her educators, who doesn't need a little help with their best work, throughout the duration of her life, she published 12 books and multiple articles. Despite her remarkable accomplishments, in my opinion, the most inspiring attribute was her optimistic attitude. She never used her condition to guilt anyone to get her way or to gain sympathy at all. In her speech, Strike Against War, she stated, some people are grieved because they imagine I am in the hands of unscrupulous persons who lead me astray and persuade me to espouse unpopular causes and make me the mouthpiece of their propaganda. Now, let it be understood once and for all that I do not want their pity. I would not change places with one of them. Helen Keller lived a long and healthy life. She died in her sleep at 87 years old, but her legacy will always live on. Her struggles were immense, and I personally don't think I ever could have overcome them, especially to the extremity that she did. She went above and beyond and truly made a difference in this world. Since her contributions, people with disabilities, especially the blind and the deaf, have had more opportunities to learn and to grow. She's a huge inspiration, not just to those with disabilities, but to everyone. Her story shows how we, as humans, can truly do anything that we put our minds to, and that determination, courage, and persistence can accomplish the impossible.